in this video, I'm going to try to obtain the most powerful gear in Avalon Alpha. To do so, I need to beat the one and only dungeon on this server, the Moonlit Dungeon. Can I overcome the odds and obtain my goal, or will I fail horribly in the attempt? Let's find out. Uh, also, I am told that only a small percentage of you are subscribed to this channel, and if you haven't subscribed, then I highly suggest you do, because YouTube is currently holding my family hostage, so, so what are you waiting for? Subscribe! But first, allow me to explain the dungeon a little bit. The Moonlit Dungeon is a level 30 dungeon that only level 30 players can partake in, but I'm sure you already knew that. You have three lives, and once all lives are wasted, you basically fail the dungeon. Plus, I would like to mention that the music in this dungeon absolutely slaps. Okay, as much as I would love to listen to that all day, I need to explain the lore of this dungeon for you. In this epic tale, you embody the heroic persona of the Solar Clan, currently embroiled in a fierce battle against their lunar counterparts. Now, I know what you're thinking. What could possibly drive two clans to such lengths of aggression and conflict? Well, if I had to guess, the two clans are probably siblings and their mom one day arrived with a PS5 that somehow came with only one controller. And the two clans are currently fighting over who should be the first to use said controller. But again, that's just my guess. As you take on the mantle as the hero of the Solar Clan, you find yourself facing a seemingly insurmountable challenge as the Eclipsed Army attempts to stop you. To make matters worse, the gate to the city has been sealed off by a powerful magic, forcing you to search for an alternate route. After pressing deeper into hostile territory and even diving into the unknown depths of the Western Valley, you come face to face with the first boss, the Undead King of Sunlight, now corrupted and serving the Lunar Clan's sinister agenda. With your unwavering spirit and razor sharp skills, you triumph over this formidable foe and press on towards the heart of the city. But your quest is far from over, for you must now face off against the nefarious Lord Mendax, a tyrannical sorcerer. Mendax? More like men... Taxivation. Anyway, in a brutal showdown for the ages, you emerge victorious, vanquishing Lord Mendax and ending his reign of terror over the city once and for all. You also get some sweet loot in the process. What I'm really into is dragon scales and phoenix feathers. You get two every time you beat the dungeon. However, the rewards have a cooldown, so you could do the dungeon again, but you just won't get the rewards, which kind of defeats the purpose in my opinion. Also, I would like to mention that the reward cooldown was 12 or 24 hours, but near the end of the video, that cooldown was reduced, and I never find out until later. What was the number you asked? Well, I'll tell you to watch the rest of the freaking video. Okay, now that you understand the dungeon, let me tell you my plan. You see, when it comes to crafting armor in Minecraft, you need a specific amount, and the amount is 24. 
So if I get two dragon scales every time I beat the dungeon, how many times do I have to beat it until I get the amount I want? Just kidding, I won't let you do the math of course, because everyone hates math, so I'll just solve this one myself. <laughs> Okay, after suffering a lot of brain damage, I finally figured out what the answer is. Drum roll, please. I need to beat this dungeon 12 times. I'm gonna be here for a while. In the meantime, I need to craft some potions for this dungeon. But not just any potions, custom potions. But Noah, why don't you just use vanilla potions? Because these ones are special, okay? How are they special? Well, I'm glad you asked. You see, every class has stats. And these potions increase one of those stats for a short period of time. The potions I need are Vitality Potions, which heals you by 25 or 35% depending on the grade, Strength Potions, and Intellect Potions, which increases your max mana. The main ingredients for these potions are Purified Salt, which you can find in Enchantry Amores, and Quicksilver, which you can find in Mithril Ores. I also need 4 Luck Potions to craft the Dragon Quartz Armor, but luckily I already made... Wait, I only have one? Okay, new objective. I need to make more luck potions and all I need is iron root, which I know how to find, and prism stone, which I don't know how to find, and the bots don't seem to have some, so I looked in the alpha play guide thinking it will help me, but do you want to know what it told me? It told me what wide level and what biome I can find it in, but it doesn't tell me which gathering point I can find it at. Mm. So I turned to the community for help and I was told that you can find it in Enchantrium Ores. Seems simple, right? I asked this because every Enchantrium Ore I find doesn't have one. I was told that there were more Enchantrium Ores in the Dark Forest just north of a town called Everglade. I went to the Dark Forest and searched for what seemed like hours and found nothing. I was on the verge of giving up until one day I was looking through someone's shop and something caught my attention. Wait a minute. This guy's selling brimstone? Hold up, what? That's right. Someone named the gunman was selling prism stone. I needed to ask him where he found them. But that's easier said than done. How am I supposed to find... Oh, he's online. After having a chat with him, he agreed to show me where he found the enchantrium that had prism stone. We went into the nether and traveled for a really long time before going through another portal which put us 6,000 blocks from spawn. Eh, my home's farther than that. Anyway, he showed me the prism stone and I went straight to work. After I was done, I returned home and made the luck potions along with the other potions I needed. With that, I was ready to challenge the moonlit dungeon. Oh, but do not fret my fellow viewers. I don't plan on doing this alone. I'll be doing this with my dungeon boys, Trip and Something. Although, I must say, out of the three of us combined, Trip stands out the most. Why, you may ask? Well, this man has a power. He may call it a blessing, I call it a curse. He somehow, whether on purpose or not, he finds bugs in the dungeon. You just have to see it to believe it. Ow! Okay, I'm dead. Well, that happened. But good, good news oh. is, I think I know how to get back. Oh no, we glitched too hard. I know no, how to get. I know how to. The confines. What do you? Hold on. What do you mean? What do you mean? Wait. What happened? Where's the boss? What 
did the boss go? Did he seriously just break the dungeon? <laughs> Dude. Wait, hold on. What? You're outside? Where outside? Are you like, I, I'm like, oh, I see you. I see you. I see you down. Oh my gosh, the boss is so with you, Amy. Hold on, hold on. Just stay there. Oh, there he is. Oh, nice. You got him something. You got him. How did the boss end up out here? Since we all died. Uh, I was currently outside the dungeon trying to get back in, and then he teleported. Okay, yeah, these horses need to be banned from dungeons on God. Wait, 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 I'm, I'm gonna post something funny in, 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 in uh, alpha chat. Oh my God, what are you gonna post? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, okay, that, 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 my friend, that is funny. That is pretty funny. Freaking... Yeah. Hello there, hello there, sir. How would you get in there? <laughs> Music. We're not going to the fountain. We're going to the boss room. No, no, go to the fountain. What if Hi. I don't wanna? Oh, there you are. Hi. How on earth did you get up there? Music. Music. Wait, oh, you did? Did you get, you got the rewards? Oh, okay, then we can just leave. Yeah, I'll leave. Trip. Okay, well, good goodbye, Trip. I'll, I'll and that was just the tip of the iceberg. But on a side note, during one of my dungeon runs, I did find one harmless little bug that I think you'll find hilarious. <laughs> Anyway, during another dungeon run, I discovered something that made my goal 10 times easier. But keep in mind, I did a previous dungeon run before doing this recording. Now to watch this be the most chaotic episode of Noah's YouTube career. Yes. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I can empty my inventory. What? <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. How, how come the, cha the, the chairs have refilled? I did... I've done this dungeon like a like a few hours like a few hours ago. Uh, hey, hey guys, hold on, I need to empty my inventory. I think you only did this dungeon an hour ago, actually. An hour ago. Did did he actually change the refills to one hour? I think. Dude, this changes everything. I thought I was going to take a month to complete my goal, but with this sudden change, I was in business. And so, after wasting over a week of my life, all I had to do now was finish the dungeon one final time. But not without my trusty pal, Baby Yoda. Ain't that right, little guy? It's time. This'll be the last time I have to fight you. Do you have any last words before we settle this? No maidens? That's it. Come here! That's right, take that and that. Hold up, I gotta drink a potion real quick. I gotta heal. I Hold on. You don't need to summon the social distance police on me. We can still hang out on Discord. I'm gonna kick your butts. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. Oh, would you look at that? We're up here now. Ha, <laughs> screw you. I put baby you in attack position. Baby Yoda, no! You, you monster. You took from me what you took from me. And now you will Still no maidens? I may have no maidens, but you have been considered by you too!
That was for you. Grogu. You are now one with the Force, my friend. You are now one with the Force. We won. But at what cost? Grogu may be gone, but I will make sure his death was not in vain. Now that I have the amount of dragon skills I need to make the Dragon Quartz armor, all I have to do now is craft it. Yes! Finally! All of my hard work finally paid off. I now have the Dragon Quartz armor and... Wait a minute. I have enough Phoenix Feathers to make the full Phoenix set. Hold on, I'll be right back. There. Now I have the full Phoenix armor. My goal is complete. And thus, I decided I should celebrate the only way I knew how. So, what comes next? Well, to tell the truth, there is not much else I can do. However, Avalon Alpha will be moving into Avalon Beta soon. For those of you who don't know, Avalon Alpha is merely a testing server for Avalon 3, which will be coming out this summer, hopefully. So all I could do now is wait. Wait, hold on a second. I thought Alpha was better than Beta. So if Avalon Alpha is moving to Beta, doesn't that mean the server is downgrading? And another thing, when Avalon 3 comes out, the testing server will shut down. Meaning I have to start over? From scratch? No!